Again, this is Richard Flores, and in adjacent to the to the film, I want to say they've also made my nose wide because they want me to look black. They've made me ingest sperm. People break into the house, rape me, make me perform a fellatio. They have sex with me while I'm asleep. And the NYPD is aware of it. They do it. They let people come in the house and do it. And there's a woman in the basement who is not a member of the authority, who supposedly has a gun hiding, okay, who works with them as well. Okay? And the police make believe there's no one there. The mental health people, uh, including Zucker Hill Hospital in Long Island, make believe there's no one there. They make believe that they're not doing anything to me when in fact they also are raping me bringing their staff in the middle of the night to rape me, okay? And this has been going on now for years. The reason why my speech is impaired is because of what's been done to me. I've been hit, I've been sodomized, I've been sleep deprived, okay? They feed me poison, okay? Helicopters swoop over the house late at night to try to scare me from stopping me from watching television or doing whatever. They do this on a on a on a usual on a, on, a, on a regular basis. They do this. Okay. And they make believe that it's me. When in fact they're doing this to me every single day. Again, my name is Richard William Flores. I'm forty eight years old, born September third, nineteen sixty five. I know who I am I don't have paranoid, schizophrenic uh, uh, disease or anything like that, okay? And they're doing everything they're basically to kill me, okay? And what they're doing is as long as I supposedly don't have any proof or everyone doesn't, or if no one says anything, then they'll just say, oh, he's, he's insane, uh, uh, no one's doing anything to him, okay? I have a sergeant, uh, phone number and name who I spoke to who said to me, a policeman in New York City, oh, you know, you know, he didn't mention anything about being under arrest, nothing. He said, oh, no one can touch you. If anyone's doing anything to you, let us know. The police are there to help you. Gave me his phone number. He's a lying pig. That's what he is, a lying black pig with a gun. That's what he is, a lying black pig with a gun. Okay. And this is what they're doing. So again, if my speech sounds impaired, if it sounds odd or strange, if my words are not as clear or I'm not enunciating as, as I normally would, it's because of what's been done to me. Okay? And they're doing this and so that way they can then say that I'm stupid, that I'm illiterate, that I'm dumb, I don't know how to speak, I don't know myself. This is why they're doing this. And if anyone sees this video and disagrees with what they're doing, do something, say something, raise your voice and say something and do something. Because what the police and what these monkeys want, okay, I'm not going to call them people. What they want is me to behave irrationally, become violent, do something. So that way they can justify what they've done to me. Don't make believe that I just randomly behaved this way, something happened, and that's it. They invade my privacy. I'm under surveillance. They punish me for every single thing that I do. Everything. Everything and anything. That means watching television, sleeping, eating, speaking, wearing clean clothes, taking a shower, uh, defecating in the, in, in, in the toilet, drinking water. Anything that I do is used against me. Anything and everything. Again, my name is Richard. William Flores. I live at 89-67 Springfield Boulevard, Queens Village, New York. The zip code here is 11427. And I'm not kidding. I am not lying. This is really happening. I'm not insane. I'm not crazy. This is really happening. I've been raped in a mental hospital. I've been poisoned in an actual hospital, okay, twice, at, at Zucker Hill, Hillside in Long Island City, in Long Island City, New York, 
and at Mount Sinai in Manhattan, New York. One of the attending doctors in Mount Sinai, his name is Howard Blywise, okay, a so-called psychiatrist at Sucker Hill Hospital. Megan Woodward is a woman that supposedly is in charge of some kind of program and she makes believe that she wants to help me, uh, tells me that I'm fine, that I can get a job, uh, there's all these services to help me, etc. She's a liar. Another one, Dr. Joseph Mata, also is one of the psychiatrists at Zucker Hill Hospital, is a lying pig. They forced me to take psychotropic drugs, Risperdal, just uh, Risperdal, and other psychotic drugs, which I can't remember right now, which I have in my possession. The police and the, the so-called uh, community here will probably use this to try to use this against me. Okay, if this gets posted up and other people will see, they'll say that I'm crazy, they'll say uh, that he, he needs to be treated this way, that he's not safe, they'll say all of that. Okay, when in fact, they sequester me to a room, they make me stay there, because if I leave, the police follow me, they don't say anything, they follow me, they break everything, that I, whatever that I have uh, in, in, in the room, Okay, and then the mother and all the inhabitants in the house make believe there's nothing wrong. This is what they do. They make believe there's nothing wrong. When I'm outside, no, one's, no one directly approaches me or says anything. No one. Okay, it's all done in this fashion. Passively aggressive. And this is what's going on. Again, it's December 24th, 2013. Okay, and this is what is going on in New York City to me, Richard William Flores, as of today. It's been going on for several years now. I'm 48 years old. Again, if anyone sees this, if you disagree with them, if you disagree with, with, with what's being done, and if the police can't do anything to you, I'm, I'm asking someone to raise their voice and try to put a stop to what's being done to me.